What is up you guys to watching Sergio's Secret before I get started with today's fun and exciting video if you could please give this video a thumbs up hit subscribe button and post a video on designer in contemporary fashion so if that interests you go ahead and subscribe so you don't miss any one of my uploads and today is going to be my favorite designer purchases of 2020 so I will say this year I feel like I strictly buy a lot of designer I feel like I also bought a lot of contemporary so I will be splitting the videos so you most likely see the contemporary one either tomorrow or later this week but I will be doing my favorite designer and contemporary purchases of 2020 it is now the last month of the year this has been such a crazy year but I do want to talk about some of my favorite purchases a lot of you guys have already expected some of these things to be on here some of you guys maybe have not expected certain pieces so I have handbags I have jewelry I have shoes and I have ready-to-wear clothing so I'll talk a little bit about everything and why it ultimately ended up making the cut as one of my favorite purchases of 2020 um, I will leave the links down below for everything if I could find it on sale or on a pre-love website I'll also link it down below but let's go ahead and get started with my favorite purchases my favorite purchase of 2020 comes in at no surprise guys it is the Chanel 19 maxi flap bag so you guys know this I bought this when I was 19 I turned 20 when I was in Los Angeles and I took the bag with me and this bag has created a lot of memories in the short amount of time that I've had it I wanted to add a Chanel handbag into my collection I have a classic flap as well but I just wanted to add just another one that I could use and that I could wear and that I could love and that I could cherish and just something that I will just kind of keep forever as memories or you know as long as I want to keep it in my collection and this one is in the goat skin leather more as a top handle it has a shoulder back strap and I just love the antique gold hardware on it. I love the large puffiness of the quilt. It goes with a lot of the things that I'm wearing right now for fall and winter. So I will say that this has been such a really great purchase. I've been really contento with this purchase. I am really, really well, like the inside and everything. Like it is just such a stunning handbag. I go good, I have not had any issues with my Chanel. 19 it puts a big smile on my face and it looks like such a current kind of it bag for chanel and we shall see if there will be longevity in the 19 handbag but the first one that was such a great purchase was the chanel 19 and i just am 100 really really obsessed with the bag and i think that this was a phenomenal purchase that i made in 2020 it's probably my probably one of my top three or if not my number one favorite item that I purchased myself this year alone. There's going to be quite a few of handbags in this video, so just FYI. My second favorite designer purchase of 2020 is going to be the Prada reissue bag. And this has had so many price increases. I just saw in this bag, I believe, is $12.90 or $13.90 now, like something insane. So this is, keeps going up in price. I would say if you want this bag, I would honestly just go for it because I feel like Prada would just keep on um, increasing the price on this. I love this. I bought this in London. It was my first time in London. It was my first solo trip. And I just wanted to buy something that I could remember that I could always have. And like I said, I bought this from Selfridges. I just like the nylon. I like that you can take the strap off and carry it as more as a night bag. I will say I have not been using the strap right now in the last month as much as like when i first got it i've been actually carrying it a lot more like this and i've been liking it because i feel like it kind of looks a little bit more delicate it looks a little bit more feminine and i just kind of like the style of the nylon pochette but honestly it has been wearing so well i have let a couple of my friends borrow this bag and it's been in really great condition really great and it's been wearing really really well so i think that this was a really great purchase for me to make and i'm glad that i did it before all the price increases i'm glad that i got it in the uk so i did get it a little bit less i think i ended up paying up right, right about maybe nine or 950 for it so it's a really great price what i paid versus it retails now here in the us plus sales tax so i like it uh, like i said i've been using it more single but i love this combo and this is a forever bag in my collection i will never sell this this is Something that even if I don't use, like let's say like next year I fall out of love with it, I know that this will always come back, this will always be in style. And I now that I'm a little bit older, I'm 20, I want to start having like things that 
I could potentially pass down to my children. So I feel like this would be something that children that I have that they could wear when they're in high school, when they're, when they're in college. So I just want to have those nice sentimental items that could be like, oh, my dad wore this. And, you know, just kind of a little bit of storytelling. But the Prada Nylon Reissue, um, a really great bag. And I highly recommend it. I made really good videos. I had the Louis Vuitton multi push as well. I did a comparison video. So I'll leave that video linked down below. But out of both of them, I definitely prefer the Prada Nylon Reissue, how it came in leather. I prefer the original nylon over the leather that's just my opinion but i could see why people prefer the Sofiano one the Sofiano does look a lot more dressed up but i like how i can dress this up or i can make it a lot more casual so my second favorite purchase is this prada nylon reissue bag my third favorite designer purchase of this year is going to be this little prada makeup bag now i bought this at the san marcos outlet i did a whole video here in texas I'll leave a video down below where I went to the YSL store. I went to so many of the designer stores and I ended up going to Prada. I believe I bought this a couple weeks before my birthday back in August. And it is just the Prada denim bag. It has the beautiful gold hardware. I think I love the contrast of denim with the gold zipper. For me, I'm such a sucker for denim in general. I, you always see myself wearing blue jeans, blue denim. So for me, um, when I saw this, it kind of spoke my mind. And I believe it was during a holiday weekend, so I had an additional 20% off. So I got this for about $100. Yeah, I checked this on Fashion File and it was going for around three or four hundred dollars. So I thought I got a pretty decent deal. But even if it wasn't the 20% off, like the denim with the gold, like I just love this little cosmetic bag. I'm normally not the type of person to like have so many makeup bags or SOGs, but I will say that this one has been a really great little cosmetic slash toiletry bag. I love the color of the blue. The third one is this little product makeup bag, and I got a really great deal. And like I said, I bought it from the outlet. Fourth favorite purchase, which may not be considered designer. Some people will, some people don't. I am going to consider it designer, and it is going to be this Michelle watch. So a lot of you guys know that I love watches. I've always been a fan to wear watches in general. Even when I was like in high school, when I was in elementary, like I've just always been, always been such a fan of wearing watches, regardless of what brands. Like I would wear um, Timex watches. I'd wear children. I would wear fossil watches a lot. So I've just been always a fan of watches. And I had a round Michelle watch that I got when I graduated high school early for my parents. And so I ended round, but I've always wanted a square watch. And then the opportunity arose to purchase this beautiful Michelle watch. This is a full price style. As you can see, the head, the head has an embezzle on it. What I like is that the head isn't too large, and I feel like it's proportionally done really well and tastefully. And when I bought this, I told myself, oh, this is really pretty. I'm not going to wear this every day. Because then I had bought this Michelle watch a couple days before, and I don't really wear this one as much. I've been wearing it a little bit more recently, but I will say I've been wearing this one so much more. Like, I just love Michelle watches. I think they add such class sophistication. I just think that they're super clean. They're super stylish. And I see a lot of beautiful women, um, regardless of their age, have, you know, Michelle watches from like 10 years ago or five years ago or even current Michelle watches. And I fan of Michelle timepieces. I think that they're beautiful. I think that they're done really well. I think that the quality is there. And so um, I think that this Michelle watch is going to be an item that I will be having for quite a while. And this is just such a beautiful timepiece. So when I bought this watch, it was an investment item. I've been wanting such a nice square watch. And when I saw this Michelle watch, it just kind of spoke to me. And I'm already familiar with the brand. So that's why I went for it. So the Michelle watch level of sophistication. So my Michelle watch was a phenomenal purchase this year. My favorite purchase is going to be this Saint Laurent bag. So I don't know if you guys remember, I had a Burberry toe. I'll enter the picture of it right here. That one was just so humongous. It was bigger than this one. And then I also have my book tote over there. But I'm going to be really honest with you guys this year. I, I, I have used my book tote, but I've been using this one a lot more. Um, I just feel like I prefer the color weight of this. And I like that I, I, I can discreetly wear it like this. And the reason why I love this is because it has a little bit of storytelling. You guys know I love me a good storytelling. I've always had this tote in the back of my mind. Um, one of my friends asked me, oh, do you, I'm, I'm selling my tote. Would you want to purchase it? 
he said 600 and I said I'll give you 550 cash right now and he said yes so he only he takes really great care of his things I have another item that I purchased from him that I will be showing he just takes really great care of his items dust bags original tag receipt absolutely everything so this is a 1250 bag and I got it for 550 and when I bought it I was like mm, it's cute I'll use it for the summertime but I've actually like for example, on Thanksgiving Day, I went to my parents' house, I spent the night, and this is the bag that I took, and I've been using this as a night bag. I like that it has a carry-all bag when I go to the grocery store, like, um, or I can fit my laptop, all my work stuff, so this has been such a great toe. It has been wearing really nicely, like, I don't really see um, any wear throughout all the lining or anything, so I do like this bag. I like the little snap closures, uh, just because the book toe doesn't have any some sort of closure, I do like that these have and it's not because I feel like somebody will pit pocket me or somebody will uh, rob me. It's just for me, like, when I, I drive a little bit crazy, so sometimes, like, I have to slam on my brakes and stuff, and, you know, since it has a snap, the bag doesn't fall with all my stuff. It may be something that will leave my collection soon. I still haven't decided, but I will say that I prefer this one uh, a little bit more right now for my lifestyle, for my changes, for my style, my aesthetic, my personality. I like this one, and like I said, when I first bought it, I didn't anticipate it for, for it to be such a... A nice item that I would use a lot a lot a lot. I have been using it quite a bit and I'm happy that I have this in my collection and I think that this was a really great purchase and I, even though it is canvas um, like I said it literally looks really good. I think Saint Laurent items are made really well. I will say out of all like the major designers like Gucci, Louis Vuitton, Chanel, Saint Laurent, Givenchy, I will say I've throughout the years I have nothing to say about St. Laurent's quality. I will say St. Laurent's items, um, I've never had any issues. All the items have been made up super well and no issues at all. So the St. Laurent toe is a definitely favorite purchase of mine this year. My sixth favorite purchase, well technically I didn't buy this, but it is something that I've been using a lot. So I will say this year I did buy a few designer shoes, but I feel like I don't really gravitate towards a lot of my designer shoes. The only really shoes that are designer that I gravitate towards a lot are my Gucci loafers, but I purchased most of those last year and I just reach for those consistently, but I've been really more into um, other brands of shoes that are not designer. I feel like designer shoes, you have to make sure that you'll use them a lot and it is a lot of money and I'd rather buy a handbag or like a sunglass or a piece of jewelry than a pair of thousand dollar shoes. But I did get these gifted for my 20th birthday. All my friends pitched in and bought these for me. Even though, like I said, I may not have purchased them myself. It is something that I have been using it. And these are the glitter golden gooses. When I saw them, um, I had told friends, oh, I should I purchase this? And I said, okay, this will be something that I'll purchase when I'm in Los Angeles. I'll me buy them on my birthday date. And just say I bought something for my birthday. And before I went on my trip, um, they all met up with me, and I had all their locations, but I don't really check people's locations like that. And they gave me this, and they gave me a beautiful lot of necklace, but I will say these Golden Goose sneakers, I have been using very consistently. I've been wearing them probably like two or three times a week, and they literally look in really great condition. I'm a size 40 in these. These are women's shoes, uh, or women's Golden Gooses, and I just love the silver glitter in them, and they just make me smile. I love this combination. And since I posted this, two or I think three other people that I know very, very close actually went and bought out these shoes. So I will say thank you so much for all my friends for pitching in and buying this for me. I really, really appreciate it. And I want to let you guys know this has been my number one designer shoe that I purchased this year. And um, yeah, I cannot say anything negative about these Golden Goose sneakers. And I love them and I love the story behind them as well. Maybe controversial purchases, but I'm just going to go ahead and say it. The Saint Laurent camera bag, I've only had it for a few days, but I know that this is my one of my favorite purchases. Color. I love the color of this. I always wanted the Saint Laurent a crossbody that wasn't a chain, so I have the Kate right there with the chain. And I bought the Lulu in a pink color earlier this year and ended up getting rid of it. But I, when I saw this at last call, I already knew that this was going to be made for me. I knew that I wasn't going to wear it, and I have been wearing it. I wore this on Thanksgiving Day. I just put this inside my tote, and this would be a bag that I kind of used. I, I just like the bag so much, this camera bag, in this beautiful nudie color with the kind of uh, antique gold hardware. I like the little tassels. See, I cannot say anything negative about this. Um, I love it so much. I love that it's super durable leather, even though it is still soft. 
I like that it doesn't have really any chain. I like the strap detail. I just cannot say anything negative about the Saint Laurent camera bag. And like I said, even though it is a purchase that I just made a couple of days ago, um, I will say it's a really great purchase and I'm really happy that I made it. So this will be one of my favorite purchases of 2020 because I know this will get so much wear in the use of December and also this will carry on into 2021. So the Saint Laurent camera bag is a definitely a yes for me for 2020. Favorite purchase, well, I entered a picture of me wearing it right here and it is a Burberry coat. So I've had a few Burberry coats before and you know, I, I've liked them, but when I saw this one, I just, I just had to have it. So I got this one in the sale. I got this for about, I think 60% off. I think that this was almost a $2,000 coat and I got it for, for about $600. I know it's still a lot of money, but I knew that this was going to be something that I would have for the next five years, the next 10 years. It's such a high quality coat and it is from New Burberry. I got this one in a size 10. I usually would have gotten an 8, but I like this size 10 because I could wear knits underneath it and it's not like on the sleeve, it's not too tight. So I think this was the perfect size for me to get. It's New Burberry, it's lined with the Burberry throughout the inside, but I just feel like this is the perfect color of camel, especially once I see it throughout the lighting. I like the buttons. I like that they have the three, the buttons right here. On the side and in the back coats that have slits and it has a little button right there but i will say that i have been using this quite a bit or the days i get super cold here in dallas I like the coverage of warmth that it gives me and i just think that this color is absolutely stunning like really i cannot say anything negative about this coat i think that this is gorgeous and i've been wanting the perfect camely coat for the such a long time and when i saw it i just knew that this was going to be a yes purchase from me and when i saw it i didn't hesitate to buy it i bought this right before i went to denver so i believe that was in was in august and so i did not hesitate at all to purchase it and now it's here in my closet i smile every time i use it and i just like looking at it it's in my clothing rack so i will say that this burberry coat is a nice purchase and one of my favorite purchases of this year because i know the amount of wear and how i would use this throughout the years in my up and coming 20s so i'm really glad that i have this burberry beautiful camel coat my favorite purchase is going to be an other piece of clothing i bought this when i was in los angeles i bought this from the outlets i'll leave that vlog down below and this was a I believe almost three thousand dollar saint laurent jacket or blazer and i bought it for 350 or i ended up paying like maybe like 400 dollars with tax and it is a beautiful Saint Laurent blazer, little silver detail right here. But just the amount of detail. Normally, I don't really like men's blazers. Usually, all my blazers are women's. But I just like the fit of this men's blazer. And I like that I get a lot of coverage in the back. I like that it has a little slit. I don't know. For me, I really like blazers that have this little in the back. I don't like it when it, it's just very seamless and it doesn't have it. The fit is impeccable. I love the two buttons. I've worn this dress stuff, I've worn this dress down. But when you walk in this, when you, you know, walk the streets, when you're doing your errands, this makes a statement. Like you can tell that this is a high quality blazer. You can tell that this is not your ordinary blazer. And I'm just happy that I have this because this would be something that, you know, I'm a big fan of the classic blazers, particularly in the color black. And I know that this will be something that I will be wearing again and again and again throughout the years. So I know that this Saint Laurent blazer was a great purchase. I wear it for like the first month that I bought it. But after that, I've just been reaching for it and I will say probably wear this once a week. But I know that the longevity of this blazer will be there. And I'm super happy that I bought this. And beautiful black classic blazer is a definitely yes purchase from me. My favorite purchase is going to be from my same friend, the one that told me the Saint Laurent bag. And it is this Gucci Dionysus or Dionysus um, little coin handbag. I tried finding the link for it in my last video, but I cannot find it. So I'll leave a very similar one down below. I believe this was just like a one season thing, but it is essentially this little coin bag and it has a small chain on it. So you could actually wear it. Like I most likely would not wear it as that. And tucked on the inside, I just have my ID, two credit cards and a debit card. And this is a beautiful canvasy. I like that it looks like the full size handbag. I like the detail right here. And this has just been a pop of little card case. I have been using my Troy Birch Walker card case a lot this year. I will say I haven't used my Saint Laurent card holder or my Chanel full size wallet unless I'm traveling a lot, a lot. I will be saying the Troy Birch card case was probably the one that I've been using mostly this year. 
but since I got this, I have been using this quite a bit. And it just makes these statements because, you know, I'm not the biggest fan of monogram. You guys already know this. But I just like how this just has a very small amount of monogram. It just kind of peeps at you. It kind of talks to you. But, you know, your handbag can be very sleek, very nice. So I just like the pop of little GG. I like the detail right here. Like I said, I like just the details about it. And this has been such a great purchase. Um, $450 and he sold it to me for $200. I thought that was a pretty decent deal um, with the dust bag and everything. So um, I will say it's a really nice purchase and I know going on to 2021, I will be using this a lot. And I also thought about th this video, like the things that I was gonna include, were gonna be things that I love now, but I also know that I will be transitioning them into next year. So this will be one of them. And the Gucci Dionysus card case, I love last two items guys. The next one are gonna be glasses. I include these ones that I got in February, but I have actually preferred these ones because I feel like these ones uh, fit my shape a little bit better. Bonus of them. I've always liked around glass, but I feel like some of them have always looked a little bit too small, a little bit too big. I like how proportionally this is looks super well. I've always liked Tom Ford glasses for this designer glasses. I used to be like a Chanel girl and like very very low leads on the side but for me i've really three brands of designer glasses that's celine i like tom ford and all of her people but i will say tom ford is probably the one that i tend to use a little bit more these ones are the jameson polarized pair this is actually a newer i just think these are sleek and i know that this will transition into next year pretty pretty well and my mom tried these on and she tried stealing them from me she's like sergio you have like a lot of glasses like por favor dame los like presamelos una semana and I was like, no. I was like, you can borrow all my other Tom Ford glasses, but except these ones. So these Jameson's Tom Ford glasses is probably my favorite sunglass purchase of this year. And I have made quite a bit of sunglass purchases, but I will say that I do like the look and the way these make me feel the most. 12th favorite purchase, which is my last purchase of this year, is going to be no other than the Bottega Veneta cassette. I know I just bought this a few days ago. But I knew that this was going to be one of my favorite purchases. I've been wanting a Bottega handbag for the longest. And when I saw it, I knew that this was made for me. And I've been wearing this nonstop to Target, to the dog shopping, to meeting with friends. Um, you know, just anywhere. I've just been using the Bottega Veneta cassette bag. It literally looks like a Hershey chocolate bar. Lo me quiero comer. I like the little hardware. Actually, I think in the last video I said that I was going to order Bottega Veneta Bell. I actually already ordered it. And it should be coming within the next couple of days so you'll be seeing a little Bottega Veneta unboxing so I just love it I love the flap I like that I can tuck in the strap and it doesn't look and it looks super sleek and super polished and I also like that it doesn't have any logos so for example I bought a Burberry trench coat I'm gonna print and I'll take the picture here and I've been trying to find a nice bag to correspond with that but all the other ones have like their the, the designer's brand on it and I like how this one's very sleek and minimalistic so I feel like like this will look really good with that Burberry trench coat. So I feel like I needed a designer bag that didn't have any branding or anything. And I've been looking, like I said, at Bottega, The Row, Alaya, and maybe like a couple other brands, but I knew that Bottega was probably gonna be the one that I was gonna go towards. And now that I have it, I am so obsessed with it. And this will be something that I'll be using so much for the next couple of years, guys. It's gonna be my top 12 favorite designer purchases of 2020. I feel like we had a nice balance. It wasn't all handbags. We had handbags, a little bit of clothing, a pair of shoes, a pair of glasses, a pair of uh, jewelry items. So I would love to hear your thoughts and your opinions on some of my purchases. Do you think that they were great ones? Do you think that they were not great ones? I wanna know what your favorite purchase of 2020 really and handbags is there a particular handbag that you bought that you just feel like it was your nice purchase of the entire year i would love to hear it down below i would love to keep the conversation going and yeah guys thank you thank you thank you so much for watching this video i appreciate each and every single one of you and stay tuned because you'll probably be seeing temporary side of this video in the next couple of days i've been already kind of looking at the items that i'm going to be putting for to say video and honestly there's so many great things that i bought in the contemporary section so it's gonna have to be a little bit of cutthroat but that one will be a really great video and yeah guys thank you thank you thank you so much for watching this video los miro hasta la próxima Bye guys and take care.